Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Mode, and you are watching Boom, the Political Vigilante, making Gotham great again. Oh. So this past yesterday, the 4th of July, um, there was, a, I'm sure many of you heard, a shooting in Highland Park, which is a suburb of Chicago. And I believe seven people were killed. Six people have been named. Uh, my understanding, and then another 31 people injured. And the shooter got off 70 rounds, not on an automatic, on a, on a shooting rifle, so a single action. All these mass shootings are awful. They're always awful. There's no, there's no like degree of awfulness. This affected me a little more personally because Highland Park is near Evanston, Illinois, where I went to high school. And a friend of mine that I went to high school with who lives in California, but was back visiting his family texted me and said that, so that the, the Highland park parade, I think started around 11 AM is my understanding. And the Evanston parade was supposed to start around three, two 30, I think. So the shooting happened and the shooter was still, um, on the loose. And so Evanston, which is nearby, and they weren't sure if it was racially motivated because Highland Park is a very affluent suburb. It also has uh, a fair amount of Jewish people living there, as does Skokie, as does Evanston. Evanston is also um, about 40% black. Evanston is a very diverse suburb. My high school, Evanston Township High School, is 40% black. Um, so there was a concern with this active shooter that maybe it was racially motivated. So and nobody knew, is this some sort of coordinated, we're just going to start shooting up parades? Are there more, you know, so they didn't know. So they shut down the Evanston parade. And this was terrifying because uh, my brother, you know, and his kids were going to go to the Evanston parade. And, you know, what happened to these families in Highland Park could have easily happened to me. And or my friend was, could have been there, you know, like any, and uh, you know, people I know, people's family members that I know, you know, it could have happened. So it shows you that none of us are safe in America. Your kids aren't safe. You're not safe at a 4th of July parade. Your kids aren't safe in school. You're not safe at the grocery store. You're not safe at church. You're not safe in a restaurant. I mean, you're not safe at work. Mass shootings can just happen anywhere, anytime, any place. That's just that. That's just the reality of it. And, you know, you can't even take your kids to a 4th of July parade. So the, I haven't lived in Illinois in quite some time and their current governor is Pritzker, who I'm not a fan of at all. He's a billionaire. Don't like him. And there's a even more right-wing idiot running for governor. And this is what this idiot said, literally not that long after the shooting, when the shooter was still at large. This is what this colossal moron said. So let me scroll down here. Unfortunately, about 20 minutes away from here in Highland Park, there was a shooting. There were uh, several uh, people uh, that we know have been shot. Why is it doing that? Oh, hold on. Oh. Independence Day Parade, and it was canceled. Unfortunately, about 20 minutes away from here in Highland Park, there was a shooting. There were uh, several uh, people uh, that we know have been shot. That's all we know. And uh, we're just going to take a moment and uh, pray for the families. Friends, let's pray for the law enforcement and, and even the organizers of this parade. They've done an amazing job. There's a lot of confusion and frustration that the parade's being canceled, but they did the right thing because people's safety has got to come first. Uh, the shooter is still at large, so let's pray for uh, justice to, uh, to prevail. 
and uh, and then let's move on and let's celebrate celebrate the independence of this nation. We know the mission. We have got to get corruption and evil out of our government, and we have got to elect women of honor and of courage uh, to uh, to get this uh, country and this state back on track. So, so right now, if you would join me in prayer for the families affected and for the law enforcement as they do their jobs, and it's been a it's been a tough weekend in Chicago. So, Father God in heaven, I thank you so much for this beautiful free country that we call home. The beautiful community of Skokie. So, <laughs> he just said, "Let's move on and celebrate freedom." The shooting had just happened. They hadn't even caught the guy yet. Turns out he was a legal gun owner. And this is who this idiot Bailey is. This is this is this is this is how dumb this guy is. And and then so like I don't know much about this guy Darren Bailey, right? So then people online are like, "Is this the guy?" Here's 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 another here's another example. This. <laughs> Friends, Illinois Republicans had less than six hours to review over 3,800 pages of the budget this year. This entire week, people have been asking me how I feel about the budget. I'm having a hard time putting it into words. Hopefully this helps. Friends, Illinois Republicans had less than six hours to review over 38. So he's advocating to take a gun to shoot the budget. Right. That's Darren Bailey. This is this. This is this moron, Darren Bailey. Um, and then I want to show you some other stuff. OK, this is this is from his Twitter feed. I will die upon my porch before I give up my guns, Bailey said, receiving a roar of support from the crowd and the firearm owner's identification card must go. So if he gets his way, the shooter at the Highland Park Parade, we wouldn't know who he is, right? We wouldn't know if he owned a gun or not. He bought the gun legally. There's all this evidence of this kid, of course, saying threatening things on social media. Nobody does anything about it. Um, fire Pritzker. All right. Pritzker. I'm not, a, I'm not defending Pritzker. I don't like Pritzker. He's a, he's a corporate, awful, just typical, horrible politicians. <laughs> just horrible. But this, this guy's a big pro gun guy. So he's like, let's just move on and celebrate freedom. People are dead. People lost loved ones. And you just want to get your, just, thank you, Jesus, father, freedom. Shut up. Oh, and you're such a tough guy with a gun. I like to knock his old fat ass out. I guess gluttony is in his in in, in is not in his Bible. Darren Bailey for governor. This is from April 9th, 2020. Second Amendment fundraiser raffle. Win a hammer a Hammerly TAC 21 rifle. Only 100 tickets available. These will sell out fast. $20 per ticket. Drawing will be held once the tickets are gone. Wow. When a tactical rifle, Bailey for Illinois. This is the same jass, jackass. That's why he just said, let's move on. Because he doesn't want to talk about the gun issue because he's a big gun guy. Shooting his gun on TikTok, fundraisers for guns. I'll die on my porch before you take my guns. Okay. And then this came out early morning in the New York Times online edition. Justice Department braces for summer of violent crime. 1.53 a.m. July 4th, New York Times. They just know they, it's going to be a violent summer. So let's just move on. That's the attitude of Americans, right? Especially like Second Amendment Americans. Let's just move on. Legal gun owner shot up a nice affluent suburb. Everyone's always like, oh, look at all the gun violence at the south side of Chicago. Cops couldn't catch him for a couple of hours. You know, American cops, really good, like the ones in, in, in Texas that just sit, sat around for 14 minutes while active one active shooter shot up a bunch of kids and they did nothing because they were afraid for themselves because they're cowards. Well, good weekend, though. Good weekend.
More than 200 shot and killed in the U.S. gun violence over July 4th holiday weekend. 220. This is in CBS News. This came out this evening. 220 shot. Wow. <laughs> Something to be proud of, right? There's your freedom right there. The freedom to be terrified at a 4th of July parade. Right? The freedom to raffle guns for your stupid election. And no, this is not a just vote blue, just vote Democrat. The Democratic Party, whenever they have power, could enact real strict gun laws, and they won't. They won't. Oh, we don't have the votes. Then fight hard. Obama had the votes. Obama had sick. He had a, a super majority in the Senate and, con and in Congress. Why didn't he pass all the laws then when Obama was in charge? Why not? Why didn't Bill Clinton do it? Here's what you say. Oh, well, Joe Manchin and Kristen Siena, Democrats are getting in the way. So here's what you do. You say, you're out of the Democratic Party. You draw a line in the sand. You cannot be in this party. And then you try to pass the votes. And if you can't, you say, these are the people that didn't let me pass the votes. They blocked this. I was trying to give you gun reform. These people blocked it. Make sure you vote them out the next election. That's what you do with Roe v. Wade. That's what you do with gun control. That's what you do with Medicare for all. That's what you do with all of that. If the Democratic Party was actually the party they say they are, but they're not. The Democratic Party actively blocks Medicare for all. They've actively supported anti-abortion Democrats. And they've let virtually no gun reform pass. Because the NRA gives most of their money to Democratic, or excuse me, to Republicans. No two ways about it. But they still give to some Democrats. Just enough. Just enough. So when you keep voting blue, no matter what, this is what you get. Don't vote for Democrats. Don't vote for the corporate Democrats in the primary. There's usually 15 to 20% voter turnout in the primary, at best. And there's always a progressive running against a corporate Democrat in the Democratic primary. That's when you need to pay attention, Democratic voters. Hey, liberals, that's when you need to wake up. The right has been organizing and recruiting and mapping out plans for decades. While the left, and I know that's a broad term, the liberal left, whatever, center left, sits around and does nothing.